coming soon to a theater near you. to home video. Most people are afraid of him, but you're not, are you? No, sir, I'm not. In the house of Dr. Jekyll, one woman has become a witness to the most gruesome experiment in history. Now look what you've made me do. You don't know the whole story. What did you do? Until you've seen her story. Julia Roberts, John Malkovich, Rated R. In the search for the perfect relationship, are we boyfriend and girlfriend or no? They're ready. Oh, Lucy, not the hug test again. They're willing. Hello, my girlfriend Jane. They're just not able. You've been obsessing over Jane for five years, and you don't even have the courage to speak to her. You're mine! Joe. We are dissatisfied with our present lives. We should get ourselves going. All right, Lucy. 28 days. I'm going to talk to Jane. You're going to go out with anyone that asks. May I take you on a date tonight? Food for thought. Ooh, got to run. What I do is sit back and watch as these strange men try to impress you in weird and stupid ways and then pick the least disgusting one, I guess. May I use your bathroom? Do you know where I can find Joe McGonagall? McDick... Trick? McNickknack. McGonagall. Joe? It's Jane. Hello? Beautiful and tall Jane. I hate Jane. I'm Wick. I've been watching you. I... Purple! I... Art. Stop! TriStar Pictures presents a comedy for the romantically challenged. Too overwhelmed with sadness by your untimely departure last night. You couldn't ask for your number. But, but stalking me was apparently well within your comfort zone. Sarah Jessica Parker. Eric Schaefer. I would be perfectly happy to blow your mind. Can we just lie down? Elle McPherson. One looks everywhere for something to lean on. Who said that? Cher? Life equals death, which is in the middle. The sub set is love. Ben Stiller. I don't know that it's very symbolic, but like it's kind of spelled out. So it sucks. No, it doesn't suck. If Lucy fell. Hans? <laughs> Can't have a heart attack right at the craft table. Bam! The game just keeps going on. I mean, people are yelling, place the eight. Somebody call an ambulance, place the nine. Meanwhile, this old bastard's laying on the floor like <laughs> the people are still playing. <laughs> you know those big monster books of matches? I had one of those in my pocket once. And I'm standing there in line for a movie, and all of a sudden just wham! I have to make money. I have bills. I have an apartment that I have to pay for. I have a car. I have a Camaro. I mean, that costs money, you know? Come on, old time. You gonna join us? $2,000 hard eight. Oh, man. You play that game. You are big time. Hello, Captain. Tell me something. Are you required to flirt as some part of your job? They don't say to do it. But if you don't? I'd lose the tip. 
Do you know how to count cards? No. You don't know how to count cards. Better stay away from blackjack. I'd like 150 in dollar tokens. I see the way John worships you and like follows you like you're his captain. John is a very old friend. I haven't told John, but I know about Atlantic City. He thinks you don't like him. I don't. Do you realize how serious this is? Where am I gonna go? I don't know, John. Away, anywhere, away. What about Niagara Falls? No, 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 not at Niagara Falls. Why not? Why not? I've been there before. Ah! I'm talking about kidnapping, extortion. This man owes me, and now he's gonna pay me. You get the money up front. Party! Ah! Now available on home video. I can't remember who met who first, or who fell in love with who first. All I can remember is the seven of us always together. <laughs> It's not just infatuation, Kevin. She's not just a girl. She's the only evidence of God that I can find on this entire planet. Where did you meet Wendy again? Prison. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. How you doing? Me? Oh, you know, it ain't easy being me. You know all those nights we stayed up talking? How come you never made a pass at me? I'm gonna get you a red, lacy, baby doll like. Alex, I'm very happy in your old pajamas. Oh, I'm happy when you're out of my old pajamas. <laughs> Alec is becoming a Republican and he wants to get married. Oh my God. Do you ever feel like you're not accomplishing anything at all? <laughs> I think I'm in touch with that emotion. The heat this summer is at St. Elmo's Fire. You're not gonna believe how out of hand it's gonna be. They live in a world of power, wealth, and fame. A world that few achieve and many envy. To think this could be my house one day. The Newman Dynasty, a family like no other. Millions of people watch them every day, needing to know what will happen next in the continuing saga of their lives. Victor Newman, passionate, powerful, and some say... You stop! Quite ruthless, he created an empire out of nothing and an unforgettable family out of love. A master of deception and control. You're a destroyer! You ruin people's lives! He steals every woman's heart, but only one has captured his. A woman he can never forget. Oh, my God. Diamonds! Nikki Newman, beautiful, sensual, and always needing to be loved. Just can't get you out of my mind, Nikki. Desired by many, but her heart belongs only to Victor, caught in the magical spell of a great man. You dirty stinker. You can kiss like that, and you've been holding out on me. Their wedding day was like a fantasy dream come true. Nikki named their daughter Victoria after him. Victor named their son Nicholas after her. The perfect family? Far from it. The marriage crumbled. How could you do this to me? Our love was meant to be. It was meant to last forever. Anybody who ever knew us would always say that. But the family remained tied together forever. So many memories. Victoria Newman. Rebellious and defiant, with only one desire. It's always been my dream to have my parents together. She fell in love with Cole Howard, a man secretly involved with her mother. Victoria! But Nikki was no match for her younger, sassier daughter. I join you, Cole, in marriage to make you my husband. He became a successful novelist. They're very interested in publishing my book. And she became her father's pride and joy, working her way to the top of his empire. We need somebody that says, hey, I'm fresh and sassy. But her brother may get there first. Nicholas Newman, tough, 
loyal and carefree. Life was good for the only son of a tycoon until he found himself caught in a web of love and deceit. Oh my God. Framed as the perpetrator of a vicious crime. I didn't do this! His father bailed him out. His mother stood by him. Because this is so wrong and so wrong. Even though she disapproved of the girl he so desperately loved. Sharon Collins has been trouble from the day she stepped foot into his life. Sharon, the girl of Nick's dreams. I wonder if you know how very much I love you. But all Nikki can see is an opportunist. I said this girl would be trouble, and she was. I said there was more to her than we knew, and there is a lot more. A girl out to get her hands on the Newman fortune, the root of all the trouble Nick found himself in. He married her in spite of Nikki's fears, positive that they would live happily ever after. It is, Mrs. Newman, our new home. But will they? The Newman family. Now that you know them, watch them every day. Then you'll know why this is daytime's number one drama. The Young and the Restless, weekdays on CBS.